think about, if I say, imagine the downtown, what do you imagine? If I think about the Farmington downtown, just as an example, you know, there's a lot of great things to think about. I might think about that one building that's kind of shaped like a triangle on the, you know, the, uh, on, the, on the corner there of Farmington and Grand River, but um, it's, it's the movie house. It's the, it's, the, it's the civic sign. It's the state sign. It's the majestic sign. Classic movie houses like the Civic aren't just a place to see movies. They're not just a generic, um, a generic vehicle for providing a media. They're specific. It's not that I want to go to a classic movie theater. I want to go to the Civic because it's in Farmington and it because it means something to Farmington. I spent a lot of time in Ann Arbor and Ann Arbor has the same kind of um, they have a the state theater and they have the Michigan theater and they have those same kind of things and there's other places that are valuing those. I'm sure there's more of them in other communities around. Um, but you know, the state theater and the Michigan theater aren't the Civic. And that's okay because that means Ann Arbor and the Civic means Farmington. In the constant push to build community and to get people to move to a new area, it's a tangible thing that you can see and that you can recognize the sign. And, and it's really, it's the whole package. You know, it's the fact that you don't have all this corporate craziness making everything super expensive. It's the fact that you know the person working behind the counter. It's the fact that you might be able to have some influence in the direction of the movies they pick. It's the fact that you'll see your friends um, coming in and out. And it's just keeping um, something that is specific to your community alive. And not only alive, but thriving. I think that's something really special and really worth holding on to.